okay something has been blowing up recently we have the nfts we've been hearing a lot about them elon musk is buying them jeff bezos is buying them everybody is going crazy about nfts good day everyone welcome to another edition of the world hackers podcast uh with chibi daniels um it's important to know the world hackers podcast uh is for educational and research purposes so any information you're getting here you're supposed to do your due diligence and then use for research purposes so anything you hear on this podcast is not a recommendation today uh, i have uh, mr bengo on FAD, who is the ceo of the world hackers so we are going to be talking of n nfts okay something has been blowing up recently we have the nfts we've been hearing a lot about them elon musk is buying them jeff bezos is buying them everybody is going crazy about nfts so today we are going to be looking at nfts what are nfts and what they can be used for okay uh, let's just keep, get right to it uh, mr bengo and ifade glad to have you here yeah thank you chibi daniels how are you i'm okay i'm wonderful how was your easter holiday yeah, it was good. Um, I didn't really go too much, but yeah, Easter was good. I think it's just a good time to recline, relax after the lengthy or busy trading session, I guess. So yeah. The NFT, what does it stand for? What, what is NFT in simple terms? I, I don't understand big words and I don't understand complex things. I want to understand NFTs in a way that is so simple that I can do something about it. Um, everybody's investing in NFTs. We have Elon Musk, uh, Jeff Bezos. Everybody's investing and it's blowing up. So we want to know in simple terms, what is NFTs and why should I be interested in NFTs? So... NFT, right? <laughs> Non-fungible token, that's what it stands for. And what does it mean? It means it's unique. It cannot be replaced with something else. So if you think about Bitcoin, Bitcoin is a fungible, it's a token. Sorry, it's a coin, not a token. There's a difference between a coin and a token, by the way. But NFTs are tokens. So if you think about tokens, tokens are lower classes of coins. So if you think about this companies who are having their projects before they get accepted in the stock times territory, for example, onto NASDAQ, they call, we call them penny stocks, or some penny stocks are not there. So NFTs are like the tokens, okay? So it's a one of a kind trading, which means non-fungible. So if you trade it for a different card, you would have something completely different. You've given it up and that's it. So if you think about, for example, I have a text message that belongs to me. If I send it to you, or if you copy it, even though I've sent it to you, it's still not yours. The original one is on my phone. Does that make sense? That is NFTs. And I mean, if you think about how do they work, it's quite high level. So you con- you're, you're yeah. changing your digital into art. So it's part of the Ethereum blockchain, uh, the Ethereum network blockchain. And Ethereum, it's a wow. cryptocurrency. So like Bitcoin okay. or any other coin. So uh, the blockchain supports these NFTs, which allows you to trade them and it stores extra information, which make them work differently from, you know, Ethereum coin, for example, or BNB coin or crypto.com coin, CRO coin. So it's worth noting that blockchain can implement their own version of NFTs, but we just at the starting stage. Okay, so NFT is not a coin, or is it a coin on its own? I want to understand that part clearly. So NFT is a, it's an art in digital form. Okay, so you've got to think about the way the world is moving. We, we're going to have to get into digital at some point. So you turn everything you've created, you turn it into digital, you digitize them. So if you have a piece of handwriting, uh, sorry, a piece of text message or tweets that you send out or even email, it's there electronically, even though you sent it to me. That's just a copy. Everyone's seen the original Mona Lisa. It's in the museum there in Paris. You could go there and take a picture that's not the real Mona Lisa. The real one stays in the museum and that's it. So you could draw and you could be as very good, but you haven't created the original one. So which is a tweet? I can send it to you. You could retweet and send it a billion times. That is not the original. You've just recreated it. The original one stays with me. And that's what NFT. So it's more or less an art, but in digital form. Wow. Okay. Now we understand clearly how NFTs work. So are you saying in essence that I can create my own uh, NFTs? Oh, absolutely. You can create it. Um, think about it. The, the, is it the GIFs that's on your phone or these funny creatures or even an image, which is quite a straightforward process. You don't need extensive knowledge of anything at all. So yes, you can create it. It's just called art. Okay. So all you need to do is to make it very simple. You have something in digital form. 
that's your NFT. Well, it's that is a digital art, but it's not an L NFT until you get a leading blockchain service provider who are ready or able to help you now start selling it. Once they're able to sell it, then it becomes an NFT. You, of course, they create a wallet and you know the extra code in that, that that's required. But other than that, once they're able to place it on the mostly Ethereum based. Uh, network okay, that means i can actually make my own NFT. absolutely anybody can make their own nfcs anybody can make their nfcs that's the flavor of the month right now and uh, we still have very much early stage yes okay how do i know uh if nfc is a good investment for me how do i know whether i'm supposed to invest in nfcs and how can i even assess like when we come to the stock market i can say okay this is a good company or this is not a good company when it gets to coins i can check the usability of a coin how do i assess to know whether an nft is good for me and whether it's going to make a better investment an nft in general is it good to invest in them what do you think now how do you know it's a good investment or if it's a good investment and it's not just something that's going to wipe off? So people are putting money into these things. It's selling, but you've got to be patient, which is one of the key terms we say in the investment world. However, if you think about Argo blockchain, which is the leading blockchain provider in, in Europe, not just the UK. I have, a, I have a position. You do have a position. Well done. <laughs> they have created... They've created their new section, funding, strictly for dedicated to NFTs. And if you think about blockchain, blockchain is divided into what? If I can remember, there's a, there's a DeFi, there's NFTs out there. So there's quite a few, few, mantra, uh, sorry, few sections that blockchain, blockchain is divided into. And there is that section for NFT. And that, that just tells you that it is something you've got to be able to take a position. It's something for the future. It's something that's not going to have to go. And in fact, they said that the NFT, uh, the NFT markets right now is worth a potential 500 million US dollars right now. And the market is expected to grow in the long term. And if you think about NFT, this is something that's just been creeping into wow. the news. Creeping into the news. And it's already worth half a billion. Okay. And you could actually realize, even though if you look at most stocks now that want to get a little bit of a vibe, they, they increase their business, business momentum, expand into NFCs. And what happens? It revives their business. So is it a good investment? For me, I will say absolutely. But of course, you have to go and perform your due diligence. But you've got to take a position in there. Well, you know, like we say, dip it toe. Okay. So in contrast to Ethereum, like we just said, you know, you can buy and sell digital coin or you can buy NFT, which is an excellent vehicle, you know, which represents a fiscal asset, just like your real estate. So if you think about your, if you think about your, your Bitcoin right now, what do you look out for? You look at acceptability, et cetera, uh, circulation. Okay. But with NFT, it's a very similar case, but totally different on the other hand right now the celebrities are going to be the most beneficiaries from nfts um i can't remember the musician last last month she actually released her music digital cover art via nft and she made a few millions she made a few millions. so there are potential there's a big potential market out there so what should you look out for just so i can answer that question this is very straightforward what's the leading um what's the leading websites for for blockchain for crypto it is the coin markets app when you check the coin markets app uh, market cap website which is just very straightforward coinmarketcap.com and you will find the list of all the nfts there of course as it's a new thing what you want to do is you want to invest only in what's the in the ones the, the, the ones with the biggest uh, market cap you know we're looking at theta for example uh, we're looking at uh, i think mana is one of them as well flow is one of them and uh, so these are the biggest ones with the biggest circulation and supply but nfcs uh, they just work like any other business right now you might say it's a token yes of course it's, it's token it's not something you can touch physically it's all online and the biggest market for it right now is the N nba ton shots i think it's called so the nba they've got loads in america you know the the, the 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 basketball league they've got tons and tons of them it's a very busy market right now they've got a lot of creative juice which are creations creative arts which they've created and things are trading regularly so what do you look out for go straight right now because how do you tell the origin is the original before it gets accepted to the marketplace, it gets vetted anyway. And that's number one. Number two, you want to go to the biggest uh, platforms who are selling them. And another way you can invest in NFTs, you don't have to buy one physically because 
it might just start getting overly expensive right now. I mean, how much is a Mona Lisa? Uh, the, what's the worth of the Mona Lisa? They're going to say it's priceless. So you might invest in an NFT without having an NFT itself. And that is by you having, and this is not a recommendation. If you have Flow, for example, which is one of the largest uh, providers of NFT or, 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 or traders of NFTs, which is a coin itself, then you've got, you have got, you've got a piece of that. Uh, if you if you got okay. CHZ, I think is another one. For example, that's another big piece. Uh, Theta, which is actually probably the biggest, is another provider of NFT. So you could invest in an NFT without having or owning an NFT itself, without pricing yourself out of the market or paying over the odds for it. And one thing people say is that we need to keep up with the trend. So NFTs are not that different. So if you think about if you think about with the tip of your hat, uh, like we talk about the NBA. So if we say what is the future of NFTs? Is it overvalued? I think we haven't even scratched the surface at all. Now, NFT and the NBA is there, and I'm sure the UK is actually looking. They want things to settle down. And then think about when the premiership goes in. The premiership is worth billions in dollars, okay? Yeah. Then premiership goes in, and then we have other different organizations. Then each organization is going to start. And then individual creating their own personal NFTs. We've got eBay right there, which is an auction. There will be an auction on site. I, I think someone sent me an auction sign for NFT uh, three weeks ago. I didn't really give it much consideration, but these things look beautiful. And there's a museum already who are dis or there's a museum already which is displaying NFT. Uh, one of these, I uh, can't remember, on the stock market area, Arena, there was a company. They dis they, I mean, they, the stock market just went parabolic the next day because they are creating a digital museum. So all these things are being created and they're gold. And think about it. We've only, they, we haven't even scratched the surface at all. So I think... Um, Right now is the time to get in. What's the future looking like? I think the future is looking great for whoever's getting it first. With that, of course, with a proper re a thorough research, if you're able to get gold in your hands, then yeah, it's worth something that is going to last you for your, your family as a, as a good inheritance. All right. Thank you very much for taking your time to explain a little bit about NFTs. And that's where we'll call it today for today. Um, if you have any comments or you have any particular NFT that you want us to look into, just leave a comment and we'll get back to you with it in the next edition of this. Thank you very much for coming to uh, the show today, Mr. Bengo and Efade. It's a pleasure having you.